Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we are going to look at the two sum problem. It is problem number one on lead code. One of the most liked questions and honestly one of the most asked questions as well. So let's get straight into it. Given an array of integer nums and an integer target, the question wants to return indices, indices of the two numbers such that they add up to target. The question also says that there is exactly one solution and you may not use the same element twice. This means that the exactly one solution part, once we find a solution we can return, no need to continue through the array because there is exactly one solution and you cannot use the same element twice means let's say the target is 8 and the first element was 4. We cannot just say okay we found a 4 let's say 0 comma 0 which means 4 plus 4 equals 8. We cannot do that. So exactly one solution, we cannot use the same element twice, okay? And we can return the answer in any order. The indices can be in any order, 0, 1, or 1, 0, etc. So let's look at the first example. Then we are going to go to the whiteboard, explain two approaches. One of them is going to be the brute force solution. We are not going to code the brute force, but in the interview, sometimes it's good to show the interviewer that you know how to solve the problem at least in the brute force way and then we can optimize it here I'm going to explain the brute force then we are going to explain the optimization and how to code the optimization so looking at example 1 we have an integer array of 2 7 11 and 15 the target is 9 so the output is 0 comma 1 Remember that the output is the indices of the numbers that add up to target. So the number at index 0 is 2, the number at index 1 is 7, 2 plus 7 gives us 9. Same thing at example 2, the output is 1 comma 2, what is the number at index 1? It's 2. What is the number at index 2? It's 4. 2 plus 4 equals 6. So let's go to the whiteboard and I have an array here um, it's 1 2 7 10 and the target is 9 and I just wrote the indices of each number on top of the um, corresponding number in the array so by looking at this array we notice that 2 and 7 gives us 9 but how can we get to this point, how can we get the answer? So the brute force solution will require us to use two pointers. The first pointer starts here, of course. And since we cannot use the same element twice, we cannot have the two pointers at the same element. So the next pointer is going to be next to this pointer. And we will see, is 1 plus 2 equals 9? Well, no. Then we advance the two pointer. Okay. Is 1 plus 7 equals 9? Well, no. Advance the blue pointer again. Is 1 plus 10 equals 9? No. The blue pointer reached the end of the array, so now this is the time to advance the two pointers. So now the red pointer will be at 2, and the blue pointer, of course, will go to 7 now. So let's see. Is 2 plus 7 equals 9? Yes, no need to continue because there is exactly one solution, right? 2 plus 7 gives us 9. So what are the indices of these two numbers? Well, the index of 2 is 1, the index of 7 is 2. So the output can be 1 comma 2 or 2 comma 1, your choice. The question said that the order does not matter. This will um, require two for loops, uh, one for loop for each pointer and this will be big O of n squared. This is slow. Imagine if we have a very large array, this will take a lot of time. Now let's look at the optimization. So the idea it's the same. We want to find the two numbers that add ups to target. The optimization lies into how can we find the complement of the number that we are in. When I say the complement, I mean um, basically the complement of 1 is 8, the complement of 2 is 7, the complement of 7 is 2. Basically, we need to add we need to add the number with its complement to get the target. The way to find that complement is basically the optimization. So let's see. We know that the question wants to return indices and we have numbers in the array. So we need a way 
to match an index to its corresponding value. And you know what good for this? It's a map and we will use a hash map. We can think of a hash map as a table like this. Okay, and of course the map is always key to value pairs. We have a key and we have a value. We are mapping a key to its corresponding value. Always in hash map, the key comes first, the value comes second. Now, for instance, in the array above, we will assume that the key is the array numbers. So the array nums. And we will map this to the value and we want the value to be the index. Okay, for instance, the number one, what is the index of one? It's zero. What is the index of two? It's one. What is the index of seven? It's two. The index of 10 is three. So the question wants to return indices. So basically when we find the two numbers that add up the target, we can go to this hash map and get the corresponding indices. Now, why to use the hash map? Well, we said the optimization lies on how to find the complement. Well, a hash map gives you the ability to search through something with a constant lookup time. So it's going to be O of 1 to look for something up. It's extremely fast. Let's see how we will do this. Okay, we will only need one pointer. And this pointer will start on the first element. And at each number, we want to find its complement, right? What is the complement of 1? It's 8, because 1 plus 8 equals target. Or in other way, we can say that the complement equals the target minus the number that we are at, which basically nums sub i. So let's say we are at 1, okay, the target is 9, 9 minus 1 equals 8, the complement is 8, etc, etc. Okay, at the start, we see a 1. What is the complement of 1? It's 8. Can we find an 8 in the hash map? Well, it's empty, so no. So we're going to take this one, put it into the hash map, okay, and put its index. And now we will advance the pointer. Now the pointer is at 2. Okay. Is what is the complement of 2? Well, 2 plus 7 equals 9, so 7 is the complement. Do we find 7 in the hash map? No. So we're going to add the 2. What is the index of 2? It's 1. Again, advance the pointer. Okay, we are at 7. What is the complement of 7? Well, it's 2. 7 plus 2 equals 9. Can we find a 2 in the hash map? Well, yes, we can. Here is a 2. So we found our answer. The question said there is only one solution. No need to advance. So what is the output? It's the indices of the two numbers that add up to target. Well, this pointer is pointing to index 2. So here's 2. And from the hash map, the hash map is telling us that the index of the number 2 is 1. So here is the answer. 2 comma 1 or no difference. You can say 1 comma 2. It's the same thing. And one last thing I want to say. Um, usually I follow these three steps. First, I check if the key is in the hash map. And let's say our hash map is called hm from hash map. The function is our hash map, basically, hash map dot. The function is called contains key. Contains key. And here you put the key that you want to search for in the hash map. Here we want to put the key. If this returns true, then we have a key in the hash map. Now we can say, okay, hash map, give us the value of this key. We can say hash map dot get the function is get okay the function is get and we put also the key so first we ask okay hash map do we have this specific key the hash map says yes come on hash map give me the value of this key so this function says give me the value of the given key of the given key 
for instance, we can say on the two. Okay, hash map. Do we have a two? The hash map looks. Yes, we have a two. Okay, hash map. Give me the value of this two. Give me the index of this two, and the hash map will give you one. This is the idea, and let and now let's code the solution. It's so easy after you understand this. So here are we again on lead code. And we said we need a hash map. In Java, we can say map. And we are mapping an integer to an integer. Okay, and let's call it hash map. HM from hash map equals new hash map. And we said we are going to use only one pointer with one for loop. So for int i equals zero, i is less than um, nums dot length i plus plus and we said for each number we want to find its complement so int complement equals the target minus nums of i right we said that the complement equals target um, target minus nums of i the target minus the number that we are at now we ask ourselves a question if hash map dot contains key can we find the complement in the hash map well we don't know if the answer is yes then we found our solution return new in the index i basically is the index that the pointer is pointing to which is basically in this case is two and Come on, hash map, give. This is the get method. Hash map dot get. Come on, hash map, give me the value of the key, or in our case, give me the index of the given key. Come on, hash map, give me the value of the complement. Or in other ways, give me the index of the complement. Now, else. We did not find the complement in the hash map. What to do? Hash map. If we want to put something to the hash map, we use the put method. So hash map dot put. What we want to put? We said key to value. The key is the number in the array. So nums of i. And we said the value is the index, which is i. And that's it. At the end, if all of this executes without returning the answer, well, we don't have an answer. So just return no run code submit and here we go okay so let's look at the time and space um, complexity we can see, starting with the time complexity we said that the we said that the hash map lookup time and insertion is o of 1 we can see here that uh, when we say hash map that get we are trying to look something up in the hash map this is constant this is big o of one we said the insertion is also constant so big o of one but we have a for loop here and we are going through the elements and let's say we have n elements so the um time complexity here is going to be big o of n so overall it's big o of n this is time complexity now with space complexity it's going to be o of n we will assume that the hash map will store all the elements in the array and here it's going to be big o of n also so space complexity o of n time complexity also o of n i hope you like the video guys and i'm going to try to upload five videos a week five problems a week just make it a habit when I upload a video, just do the question, just get into the habit of doing problems. Good luck to all of you and see you in the next video.